Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that have been following the last few videos, you'll know that I've been converting this motorhome into a fully off-grid vehicle. Something that I can live in, away from anybody, and be fully self-sustained. A few days ago I ordered this. It's another essential part of my system, and I want to review it and show you exactly what it can do. So this is the SC50, it's made by a company called Power Oak and it's a portable power station. It's extremely compact, it's relatively light and it will give you 12 volt DC and 230 volt AC power all from this one compact unit and I think this is going to be a great accompaniment to my main solar system whereby I can charge all the smaller appliances, my drone batteries, my camera batteries, my laptops, um, my phone, all from one unit with a massive, massive backup power supply. So it's a 500 watt hour unit, powered by lithium batteries. And I think this would be ideal as an off-grid backup power supply. For example, if there was a power outage, um, if you're going picnicking to the beach, camping, car camping, wild camping, and any off-grid application. So I'm going to thoroughly test this unit out now and see exactly how it performs. Before I can really test this unit, I'm going to need to fully charge it. It comes with a, a transformer and it runs at 27 and a half volts on the back of the unit is an input here for the main charger and we're running off the inverter here in the uh, in the motorhome and I'll tell you exactly what's using straight away You've got the power light come on, the indicators here obviously flashing, telling you it's charging. At the moment it's stopping at around about 60%, so it's come half charged. So I'm going to leave that now and see how long it takes before I get a full charge using mains power. After a while, when you're on mains charge, the display goes out. And if I touch it again, you can see what's going on, obviously to save a little bit more power. The readout at the top here is showing you the input is between about 81 and 85 watts, which I believe will translate to about 7, 7.5 amps. So that's taking 7.5 amps out of my battery. Assuming it takes an hour to fully charge, that's seven and a half amp hours. I don't know yet. Um, I can double check how much it uses by uh, looking on my um, Vitron monitor. It's uh, it's taking out. Well, it's taking out nearly nine amps from my battery bank, and that's just to charge it on the inverter with the two thirty volts. And I had everything turned off and also I turned the solar off to get that reading on the monitor. If I turn the solar back on and if I check on the monitor now, I would so hope to see, yeah, it's in a plus state. In other words, the solar is pumping in more than the system's using. So it's nice and free. So that's the unit fully charged now. It took about two hours to do that last 40%. So realistically, it's going to take about six hours 
to fully charge from empty. Um, this has got a 90% depth of discharge being lithium batteries you can do that and it's also got uh, a battery charge protection so you can only go down you you leave that last 10 percent in the battery now there's several methods of charging the unit up you've got the 230 volt power supply here you can also use a lead that they supply with a cigarette lighter in the end and you'd plug it into the car uh, or van cigarette lighter run the engine and it's going to give you about 80% charge on a 12 volt system. If you've got a 24 volt fan, uh, it'll give 100% charge. And the other method is using this lead that's supplied. It's a lead that you can run to your solar panels. And they've got the MC4 connectors on the end. And it will charge completely 100% on the solar uh, but I believe you can't have anything more than a 120 watt panel with it um, and the unit itself has got an MPPT controller inside to monitor and control the charge. Now in order to test the solar I've disconnected one of the roof panels it's a hundred watt connected to the lead and And it's charging up quite nicely 72 watts 73 watts coming into the unit so that definitely works so that's three different methods of actually getting your power and charging it up in the unit right so let's get down to the nitty gritty now and put a few things on test and see exactly how this unit performs I've brought the unit inside I thought it'd be a bit easier to plug in all the different things that I've got to uh, to test so first of all I'll power it up and as you can see it's full powered if I want the DC on press and hold for a second and the indicator lights tell you that the DC is now on and the same with the AC power on it's got little monitors here that tell you the amount of draw from the unit in watts for either the DC or the AC side. So working around the unit then you've got two 5mm DC 12 volt 3 amp jack plug sockets, a cigarette lighter 12 volt 10 amp there standard socket. Over here there's four USB ports 5 volt 3 amp and one PD45 which is quite interesting because I believe you, uh, things like a MacBook will charge directly off of that and two 230 volt uh, AC sockets they are powered by a pure sine wave inverter inside and on the side of the unit you've got an extract fan and on the opposite is an inlet port to cool the whole unit and cool the inverter so I've got quite a few appliances plugged in now and the fan on the unit has kicked in to keep it cool on the 230 volt side I've um, daisy chained quite a few things I've got my computer the charger for my battery dual a fan and a set of batteries charging there on the cigarette lighter there's my uh, little radio there and I've got all four USB ports being used for my phone a rechargeable torch camcorder and batteries for my uh, camera so that's a lot of things going at once there and they've been going about three quarters of an hour or so and they literally haven't made a dent in the battery so, so these are the sort of figures that Power Oak reckon 
and the amount of charge you'll get from a unit. If you run a CPAP machine, that's a ventilator machine, you get 17 hours use. Uh, for a 12 watt fan, 36 hours, 60 watt TV, 7 hours. For charging your laptop, it'll do 8.5 hours. And also run a mini fridge, a 60 watt mini fridge, give you 7 hours. Charge your smartphone 42 times and drone batteries 18 times. So apart from those charging times, the unit has also got a couple of other features. On the top here, they fitted a wireless charging platform. So if you've got a phone that is capable of wireless charging, you just lay it on the top and it'll charge up. You haven't got to plug it into any of the USB ports. The other feature I want to show you is along the back there's a light. If I just turn it on, okay, it's a three position light, you've got bright light, dull light, and then they also give you uh, an SOS feature. So I suppose if you're using it for camping and you get caught out, it's, it's quite handy. But it gives a nice light on the low setting for when you're camping, like an ambient light that's not too bright so this is this is quite a handy little feature the carry handles obviously whoops turn it off the carry handles are really strong they're bolted through to the frame of the body itself and they give you they give you good support it's a solid unit you can feel there's nothing rattling there's nothing cheap about this actually i I'm getting to like it the more I'm using it, the more I'm testing it out. Now obviously you can't fully test a unit like this. Uh, you need to run it for months or even years to get an idea of how well it's going to perform. But having said that, the testing I've done over the time that I've done it, it's been faultless. I particularly like the fact that you've got a DC supply and an AC supply together in one compact lightweight unit. Granted, it's 500 watt hours capacity. So realistically, um, with an 85% efficiency, that would be about 425 watt hours that are available on a fully charged battery. Now, if you think you're gonna go around boiling kettles and all high wattage appliances with this forget it it won't do that but within the parameters it's more than capable so overall I like this and it will give me a saving on the main system all the little things that I need to charge up or if I need to run a fan all the time it's going to be useful in that way. It's got specific uses. And the final thing is, this unit comes with a carry case. Now, it's not the most elegant looking carry case, I must admit, but it's well stitched. It's made of uh, ripstock nylon. And you'd think, well, perhaps they'd make something a little bit more fancy and uh, upmarket. But I started thinking about it and when I've got it in here and it fits quite snugly you know it's like um, when you're trying to put a hammock away or a tent away it never goes in how, how you what how you got it out but that's the bag it comes in now if you're carrying this around with you let's just say you're going to the beach as an example and you've got that that looks like a common or garden lunchbox. No one would pick that up and run off of it. So in retrospect, this is quite a good idea, this type of carry case. It looks cheap and cheerful, and it looks like there's nothing in it. But of course, it's got your whole power system in there. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope um, I've shown you all that there is to see on this power oak power unit uh, highly recommend it and hope you've enjoyed this video so for now stay safe and i'll catch you on the next video
Bye for now.